Chapter 10, Lesson 3, Surface Area of Rectangular Prisms The surface area of a rectangular prism is the sum of the area of all of its faces. So the formula is surface area equals 2 times the length times the width plus 2 times the length times the height plus 2 times the height times the width. Example 1. Find the surface area of the prism. So this prism, we're given the net because it's opened up. So we want to find the surface area by finding the area of each individual shape. So if we start with this green box right here, this green box has dimensions 9 by 7. So to find the area of the green box, we do 9 times 7, which gives us 63 for that box. This blue box has dimensions 7 by 5, so we do 7 times 5 to find the area of it, which is 35. This box in the middle, this side is the same length as this 5 right here, so we know that this has dimension of 5 meters. This side is the same size as this. So I know that this is 9 meters, and the area of this is 9 times 5, which is 45. Down here we have a green box that has dimensions 7, and this is the same size as this, and this, and this, which is all 9 meters. So the area of this is 9 times 7, which is 63. This blue box has dimensions 7, and this is the same size as this over here, so this is 5. 7 times 5 gives us 35. And then we have this last box, which is 9 meters by, again, this is 5 meters because it's the same size as this one here, and 9 times 5 gives us 45. So now to find the total surface area, we have to add up all of our areas. So we have 35 plus 63 plus 45 plus 63 again plus 35 plus 45. So first we have 5, 10, 15, 20, and then 23 and 26, next we have this 6 and 4 gives us 10, and this 6 and 4 gives us another 10, so that's 20, plus 3 more is 23, another 3 is 26, plus 2 more is 28, so our total surface area is 286 meters squared. And remember that area is always units squared. Try this problem yourself to check for understanding.
Example two, find the surface area of the prism. So we need to find the area of each part of the box. So if we start with this part back here, we have the dimension five, and then this side is equal to this. So this side has a dimension of eight because it's the same as this side. So here we can write eight. So the area of this is eight times five, which is 40. And because this is a box, we know that this side up here is going to be the same as that, which is also going to be 40. Next, we have the border along the side here. This area here has dimensions five by 13. So the area of this is five times 13, which is 85. And then we know that this side is going to be the same. The last part we have is the bottom of the box. And this has dimensions eight by 13, which is eight times 13 gives us 104. To find the total surface area, we have to add up all the areas. So on the bottom of the box, we got 104, but we have to add that twice because we also have the top of the box, which is also 104. Then we have 85 plus 85, And then we have 40 plus 40. So here we have 5 plus 5 is 10, plus another 4 is 14, plus another 4 is 18. Then we have 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 4 more is 20, plus another 4 is 24, plus 1 more is 25. Then we have two plus one plus one, which is four. So our total surface area is 458 inches squared. Try this one yourself to check for understanding. Example three, Heather is wrapping a gift for her friend. The dimensions are nine inches long, 10 inches wide, and 13 inches tall. To determine how much wrapping paper to buy, she needs to find the surface area of the gift. What is the surface area of the gift? Okay, so let's try and draw a gift box. Okay, so we know that it's nine inches long. 10 inches wide and 13 inches tall. So let's find the surface area by finding the area of each piece. So this piece here in the back is going to be 13 by 10. So 13 times 10 gives us 130. And then we know that the front piece is also going to be 130. Next, we have the side piece here. 
which is 9 by 13. So 9 times 13, which is 117. And then we know this piece is also going to be 117. Lastly, we have the bottom piece. And this bottom piece is 10 by 9, which is 90. And then we know we also have the top of the box, which is also going to be 90. So we have 90 twice for the top and the bottom. Then we have 130 twice. And then we have 117 twice. So let's add them all up to find the total surface area. So 7 plus 7 gives us 14. Then we have 9 plus 1 is 10. 9 plus this one is another 10, so that's 20. 20 plus 3 is 23, plus 3 more is 26, plus 1 more is 27. Then we have 2 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, which gives us 674. So our surface area is 674 inches squared. Pause the video here and try this one yourself to check for understanding.